Hey, I'm Jantastic. This is React Holiday, day 19. Today, we're talking about asynchronous actions in use reducer. Man, that's a lot of words, but it's not a lot of code motion. So just, just bear with me. We're gonna get through this together. Super easy. Here's a way that you can do it. Now, the goal is, is that I'd like to move this these implementation details up into my use reducer. Um, as this grows, I don't wanna be calling fetch everywhere and then like calling the actions as a result of that. I'd rather just dispatch an action and have it care about all of the implementation of how that data actually gets on state. So we're actually gonna take this and we're just gonna move it up. Move, 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 move. Uh, where's it gonna land? Uh, right here. Okay, now I'm going to copy the action that we had before and format this just a little bit so I can read it. We're gonna call this one fetch and replace. Now this is a terrible name, but just, just for the sake of uh, this demonstration. Uh, and as a payload, it's going to take a URL. So here we'll take action.payload and then we're going to take our JSON and then dispatch another action, replace Pokemon with the JSON that we get back. Cool, cool, cool. Now let's copy this and jump back down into our on click. We're gonna change this to fetch and replace Pokemon and the payload will be our Pokemon UL. Let's save that and see how we did. Failure. The reason why is that we actually need to always return state. So I'm just gonna return the previous state. So the state that we got, I'm just gonna send that back out while we do the work of fetching the next Pokemon. Let's save that and see if it works now. Boom, we got it. So that's one way that you could do asynchronous actions in Use Reducer.